Welcome back to Metroid Prime 3! Heading back to Skytown with our newfound screw attack. Alright, time to stop messing around. Let's go! I can't believe we had to leave a planet just because we couldn't jump off of another wall. Well, well now we can, so it's, it's all taken care of. I know, I know. It just seems kind of silly. The game's trying to redirect us, trying to say, hey, why don't you go to the pirate home world? It's like, no, 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 no. I'm not done here yet. There's still things to do. There's plenty that we can do here. Well, that's good. I was hoping it wasn't just, hey, get the screw attack for this one section, and then, oh, you're done. I dunked on the ceiling, yep. and there we go. Just press B, don't even need to move the control stick, just... Mash B, and there, away you go. It's almost like a cutscene. Nice. And now... Aha! Oh. Anywhere there's a whole bunch of bulbous phase on, uh... It's not, not, not a good thing. Like, there, there seems to be more phase on growing around the world around me. Not sure if I'm into that. Well, especially since... <sighs> Every time we find a new area, there's just even more of it. Is it, like, steadily growing as we're getting to these other planets? It's pr p possibly? I mean, it is all sentient. They are in war mode right now, so... Maybe their growth is accelerated as they're... Uh, as they're all, uh... Ew! I don't want to think about that. Ew. Like, it's, like it's in attack mode, so of course they're gonna be, you know... Much more aggressive in their uh, in their metamorphosis too. I'm sure. I'm just thinking sentient space cancer just goes attack. Ow, oh, oh, my lungs, oh, my body. Ah! Samus starts blasting her own power suits. Like, get it off, get it off. <laughs> Ooh, this looks fun. This is the sky tram that takes us to, well, the other half of the of the level, basically. The other half. I dig it. I dig long levels, especially when there's a reward at the end of it. There's probably a fight with Dark Samus at the end of this, but, you know, it's worth it. Uh, I, I was hoping that we could come in a bit more stealthily, but it appears that we've already been caught by the... Uh, yeah, by yeah, him, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's, that's okay. Alright, I dislike this room a lot. Hmm. It's confusing. Difficult to navigate. Hello. And looks like some pirates are here kind of snooping around when they shouldn't. I mean... Uh, yeah, okay, burn. When are they good for snooping? It's like, all right, pirates, you're allowed to snoop for just for five minutes. Oh, hey. Get in, get your snoop, and get out. Maybe also, be disintegrated. Yikes. I mean, that shit you see in Doom, man. That... That's like deatomizing the pirates. I'm burning them so hot that they just immediately decarbonize. Yeah, th that guy's running. He knows what's going on. That's so cool, but awesome. To burn you, al to burn you alive so hot that it burns the molecules in your body. How many coffins should I get, ma'am? None. Oh, no need. Yeah, there won't be anything here. You're, you're. Oh wait, they hit me with the phase on, which was a terrible mistake on their part. Was just, yeah. <laughs> Who's the who's the uh, backstabbing scientist that came up with the phase on overloader? She's too she's too strong. What do we do? I got this. Throw in the phase on overlord. Rodney, no, no, <laughs> Rodney, you fool! <laughs> That's not exactly one of their best. I, I, throughout this the entire Prime trilogy, we've been seeing you know space pirates. They aren't that smart. They're definitely not that smart here when we've been using phase on. I wonder if Dark Samus is slowly figuring that out. Like, you know, end of Prime 2, and probably even during Prime 2, they, uh, achieved an alliance of sorts, whether by force or by, or by, uh, mutual agreement, we don't know. But I feel like, alright, Samus is here. You know what to do, right? And they're like, yeah. Throw our best troops as infantry. 
bridge. What? There, there, no. I got the phase on overloader. D don't, don't, don't do the phase on over. Like, what, what, what are you, what, what are you doing? Make her stronger. Launch the missiles onto our own base. What? What? Don't do no. Oh God, you guys are idiots. <laughs> uh, rubbing her temples. Uh... Okay. Like she's probably seeing from the security cameras. Like I don't think being able to harness the phase on was part of her mo. So when she's looking through the security camera and sees that Samus is actually using, it's just like. It's it, like it's been a month since uh, she she attacked us and I guess began her assault. Truthfully, she's been busy the entire time, so she hasn't kept up with us. At Re least I assume not. Like really, she's been spending six months preparing for this. Like like especially in Elysia, she's been here the longest. Phase on stuff has been here, so I, so maybe the pirates are maybe stationed here a little. That's what I'm thinking. Stationed or abandoned here. So but 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 think. It's been six months since your since your defeat. You've been spending it all building your troops, building your forces, growing your power, and then you uh, you launch your attack and everything goes well. You take you take out everybody. Everybody's infected with phase on. Everything go everything's going swimmingly, and then she wakes up. That's. <laughs> Oh no. E oh no. Every oh no. every single gif of somebody throwing things against a wall and you know flipping papers in the air, tossing tables. Think of Donald Glover coming in with the, those those oh, pizzas. Yeah, just, ah, yeah. Everything's uh, on fire. It's like <laughs> What do you mean? She's been awake two minutes and she did what? She killed who? <laughs> every time she gets more pissed, her vocal range goes up an octave. <laughs> you did what? <laughs> Please don't hurt yourself if you go to try it. I was gonna say it overflows in. The seed happened to what? <laughs> it loops around. She did what? <laughs> Ma'am, you don't sound so good. I did what? All right, time for some screw attack shenanigans. All right, show me some shenanigans. Uh, first, we got some. Uh, what are these things called? Swarm bots. Oh, swarm bots. I thought they were like flying paper clips or something like yeah, that. Everything's mechanical here. Flying clippies. There we go. Ow. Ow. Oh, that was a new hurt sound effect. Finally. Th see, this is why I buy sequels to games, to hear all the new stuff. New hurt sound effects? I'm there for it. Uh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Did we get her? <laughs> no, I think she's got the screw attack. Ah, already? God! I thought you hit that thing on a different planet! Well, I did, but she found it! This place is called the Broken Lift. You can tell because this elevator is, uh, non-functional. Oh, I thought it was like a giant meat grinder or something like that. It was working perfectly in my head. Why would they need meat? L look, for the meat bags that are still there are, ro roaming on this planet. There were no meat bags! This is a completely mechanical society! Hmm. They thought about that. It's like like we are an entirely robotic society. Now get the butcher. B butcher for what? You have that one bot that's just like the doomsayer bot. It's like you you watch. One day the humans will be here and you'll be glad for this meat bag grinder. A completely mechanical society. Get the apothecary. <laughs> When all else fails, bring out the birds! <laughs> the hell hit me? Oh. Hello. Aw, oh, shit. There's a bit of lore over there. Blink and you miss it. Hello, lore. This one is Federation. Oh, boy. Time passed slowly as we suffered through our bad dreams. We endured their visions until finally in year 1435, our automated defense systems were triggered. A number of aliens, well-armed and armored, had penetrated our battle screens and entered Elysia Station. Per protocol, we were revived from stasis to defend our home. As we mustered for battle, the aliens communicated with us and declared themselves to be under the banner of peace. Essentially, this is how they met the Galactic Federation! Yay? Hopefully? That's, that's pretty yay. Okay. I never know whenever the Federation comes up. It's like, do I yay or do I just... Alright. 
That was pretty great. Yeah, would have been Fuck. if I just uh, it's uh, some banisters would have been nice. Alright, let's I, do it again. Let's do it again. Uh, okay. Just, just go straight. Just go straight. There oh, we go. Yeah. Well, oops, it didn't oops, work oops, out. Oops, well, oops, oops, I mean, well, oops, I mean, well, oops, I mean, oops, I mean, oops, I, well, uh, oops, 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 you know, it went so well in practice. Oops, oops, oops. oops. <laughs> Always does. I'm losing an E-tank for these guys. Jeez, why, did, why just one? Come on! Ah! <laughs> Alright! Alright! I hate the nunchuck sometimes. You have to shake it in order to go bowling? No, it just feels like that I've, like, someone cut my controller in half. Oh. Because I don't have as much, you know, firm grip on the control stick. It's, it's weird, okay? I, I am a very different gamer than you, because I loved the Wiimote nunchuck. I loved how it felt. I'm one of those guys. I'm the guy who loves the Dual Sense Five because of how big and bulky and thick and sexy it is. It is a very nice controller. Another bit of lore. I hope it's more Federation. Agreement. Hmm. The treaty brought to us new supplies, fuel, and parts from the Federation. In return, we allowed them to use Elysia Station as they saw fit. They were glad to use the station's powerful scientific systems and gleaned a great deal of knowledge from our data banks. Unfortunately, the harsh atmosphere of our world was dangerous for the Federation researchers. They proposed to replace the humanoids with a single artificial intelligence unit, which they called Aurora. At this time of year, in this time of day, in this part of the universe, Localized entirely within this planet. Oh, perfect. Another landing spot. Are we gonna have to kill that AI? What do you mean? Aurora. Why? I don't know. It's just normally we need to take out the big bad, and I don't know if it's a big good yet. Well, the, our, our, uh, our interests seem to align at the moment. Okay. I mean, it's the Federation we're talking about that can change just like that. Precisely. Like, as soon as we find out that they've been trying to bring, like, phase on Metroids into into the atmosphere here, it's, it's be like, all right, Federation, get out of here. Oh, uh, right, yeah. We're here for something. Phase droids. Go ahead and Man. upgrade our ship again. Pardon. Oh, yes. Oh, that's the good Sunny D. Yes. We now have a grapple beam for our ship. Ship grapple beam. Oh my God, we've become the neighborhood tow truck. Yes. So now we can take the three gigantic components within Skytown to build our bomb to destroy the Leviathan she uh, Seed Shield. And now we can use our grapple beam on our ship to grab these components. <laughs> to haul the components to make the nuke. <laughs> exactly! To destroy the Leviathan, holy cow. And they've very helpfully pointed out where they are. There's one right there. There's one right there. There's one all the way over her. So now we have the ship grapple beam, we can grab those components. Let's do just that. God, I still love that without a second thought. I mean, it's for the good of destroying the Leviathans, but the fact that they said, oh yeah, Sam, we need you to make a nuke. Hope you're okay with that. And she's like, right. Right, gotcha. No, you need to understand, this is a nuclear weapon capable of just, yeah, the Leviathan. Yeah, where, where do I get it? It's all part of her recklessness. She knows how bad Phazon is. She knows how dangerous everything is. She knows how crucial it is that she be successful in her mission. They say, drop a nuke on this place. She's like, yeah, got it, right. I believe we call that choosing the lesser of two evils. I mean, look what happens when she found Metroids in Metroid Fusion. She's like, Metroids in, in, in this lab? Okay, jettison it into the atmosphere. And then the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Just take out the whole thing. It's a lot easier that way. A little bit of backtracking here. But it's okay because stuff Aww. happens when you backtrack. And now what am I to? Oh well. All right. Did you blow away the gears so that way she could get the missile expansion? 
Oh, that was a missile expansion? Yes! Oh, shoot, I thought it was the hook shot. I've been playing A Link to the Past lately. Ah! Now they're in heaven like, great job! Seriously? Link to the Past? Oh, come on! Tears of the Kingdom just came out, asshole! Oh, I cannot believe I'm having problems with this goddamn missile expansion. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> really? <laughs> if you could go back and tell past you how easy it actually is to collect this thing. Ah! Just, yeah. It's, a, it's okay, it's, man. It, it's the yips. I got it just fine in practice, and now I, it's, it's... Well, a, you got it. Well, I got it now, yeah. Yeah. So, it's not always that easy there, kids. I know I make it, I make it seem like it's an easy, simple Metroid uh -huh. game, but not, but no Metroid game, no Metroidvania game is actually easy when you think about it. Uh. So anyway, how's Prince of Persia? <laughs> it's great, actually. Okay, cool. It's, 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 it's great. <laughs> Let it be known far and wide, Ubisoft made a game that's actually worth a damn in the year 2024. Let it be known far and wide that they actually, they actually left a text-to-speech character in there. It's fine compared to what they could have left in there. We'll take it. It's really funny because you. you oh, did walk. you find it? Oh, I found her. <laughs> Hello, Sargon. I will light the path for you. <laughs> oh, don't worry. We'll. Now the rest lies to you, Sargon. <laughs> take a clip of that because that'll eventually be patched out. I know it will, but it's on the disc. Huh. Remember that they they launched it like that. Look, things fall through the cracks, okay? Like, it, it kind of fit because it's not, it's not like a human character. It's literally a sentient eye rune, essentially. Mm -hmm. But it's still, like, so it sounds like it's uh, some alien type thing. But it still sounds bad. Like, e like, even the best of AI voice acting is worse than the worst of human voice acting. When you think about it. Like, it, it, it shows. I I'm just thinking one of the most infamous things I've ever seen left in the game is there is still Japanese text in in uh, Shin Megami Tensei's Strange Journey. Yeah, I've, I've seen that in Conception 2 as well. It's final boss dialogue. Oh, that's bad. The thing is, it's... You have to be, like, lawful good, but do, like, this, that, and the other. You have to actually actively look for it in order to find it, which is how it got missed in the translation logs. Hmm. But still, it's interesting. Just an oversight. And I hope that's what that this character was, too, an oversight. It has to be. Like, there's no way they would keep in a text-to-speech. It's too goofy. So in, in a game that they actually put effort into. That's, that's, it's just sounds oh, give him the benefit of the doubt. I, 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 I will try. I will try. So this is the game teaching you that when you lift stuff up with the uh, ship grapple beam, you have to put it down usually, too. So now that we've repaired this... Oh. Now we activate it again. Get it going. See, there Let's we go. Hey, all right. There we go. Now creating nuke. This place is called the Chozo Observatory. It's actually strangely beautiful. I'm remembering when, Met when a Nintendo said they wanted Metroid Other End to be the Metroid game that anybody could play. I'd point them to this, to be honest. I would say it's a lot more accessible. Because uh, I still remember I got lost playing the original Metroid Prime, and that's why I never finished it. This is the only Metroid Prime game I had actually beaten back in the day before I actually tried. Straight shot linearity, which is not a bad thing. They give you plenty of free E tanks, so you can utilize the hyper mode. But that means you got a lot of uh, a lot of damage protection too. I will also give this to Metroid Prime, the original, and I can't remember if it got fixed and remastered, but the map is kind of doo doo. Yeah, no fixing that. That's... Oh! That was a map?! That's a map for the area. I guess like a beacon of some sorts. Okay. That gives us a map for the area. That's almost completely filled out. No, I think we can put uh, some, okay, okay. some parts. Okay, okay, you gave us the rest of it. Okay, yeah. okay. 
but there's like two other bomb slots here and some that we can't reach just yet. Spider ball. So what's this one do? Now activating third beacon. Activating death nuke. Wait, no, no, wait. No, no, no. Wait, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, no, no, no. Wait. No, not activate, wait, I need wait. to build it. Where's it going? <laughs> Seriously, which planet is it going to? This one's going to Brio. Wait, what? New suits have been found on Brio? Suit expansions. Oh. Darn, I was actually thinking we were getting a new upgraded suit. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I want to look awesomer. Can we please get another suit that makes me look awesomer? This one's going to Norion. Great. So what did that mean? What did this just do? Most likely, it's showing us where cool collectibles are. More than that, it's showing us where THE collectibles are. All of them? Your missile expansions, your gut, your uh, ship missiles, your energy tanks. Oh, it even tells you what you've already gotten. Yes, it does. Oh, that is that's fabulous. And you can bet your ass that there's one for Elysia and one for the pirate homeworld too. Oh my god, that's awesome! And we need the spider ball for the last one, but still, that's great. That's why I say this is the most accessible Metroid, because if you're fretting about getting all the all the pickups, well, hey, no problems. Here's a little in-game secret for you, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, hey, hey, how about that, Buster? To tell you precisely where they are. Right. And if you forget, we'll tell you after you beat the game and come back. Oh, that's nice. Why didn't they do that for the other ones? Don't want to make it too easy, I guess. Maybe Nintendo, uh, you know, angrily wanted accessibility in their Metroid games because why didn't the, why didn't two sell as good as one? Now, now you got me curious because Miyamoto did pawn off Metroid Prime to Retro because he doesn't really understand Metroid. Well, it was also kind of a punishment for Retro because uh, they they, <laughs> they they saw what Retro was doing and they were impressed with what they were doing. What are you meaning Retro isn't filled with a bunch of rock stars that spend all their money on hookers and blow? Uh, you can't all be John Romero, <laughs> and uh, if you're going to be John Romero, you can't do it on, on Nintendo's dollar. So they said, "Okay, look." By the way, you're going to you're going to make a game for us. Uh, you see what's what what we got here? It's uh, it's, uh here here this. Make that, but, um, uh... Would that hit? Metroid. Okay, yeah, make it a Metroid game. You do that, and maybe, just maybe, we will allow you to stay employed with us. Also, all your other projects, fuck them. Make Metroid. Something they still practice to this day. All your other projects, fuck them. By the way, it wasn't John Romero. It was the current CEO of Retro at the time. Who was, uh... The, the former CEO. Former CEO, who was... Uh, you, you, you better believe they kicked his ass out as soon as that uh -huh. happened. And then he went out... To, after that, I think he went out to make an absolutely wonderful, delightful game, didn't he? Uh, I don't remember. Probably because it doesn't exist. Well, you mean the guy game? There's no way! Oh, yeah? No way! Oh, oh, my friend. Oh! Oh, my friend. Oh! You're kidding. Was he one of the ones, like, the hosts? Oh, no. Oh, you no, 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 no. I see you looking it up. I see you looking it up. Oh, Lord. Well, basically, uh, the Elysians have been alone for so long. The Federation show up, they install an Aurora, and now they can speak with the Federation, they have a, they have a way to the, yeah. Oh, that's cool. I see you. No, no. <laughs> Jeff Spangerberg. Spangenberg. Spangenberg. Yeah, that's him. That's him. Oh, no.
It is. He was the director. Oh, oh no. Anyway, we got another uh, berserker lord here. <laughs> While you're having this revelation, uh, before we get our sec oh. our, uh, our first component here... Oh no! We've got uh, another Berserker Lord to deal with. This one is really annoying because he launches more red uh, bulbs and purple ones. So that interrupts his cycle. So you're just <laughs> shooting his shoulders for the most of it. It's 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 a big waste of time. Holy shit! But oh. yes, in case you didn't know, <laughs> Jeff Spangenberg. That's so hilarious that that's his name. <laughs> Jeff Spangenberg was the head of Retro. <laughs> then he got the ire of Nintendo. Then he used all that money to basically do nothing with it. Oh my god! And then, uh, after he was fired from Retro, he made his own his, his own studio. Oh, yeah, he, yeah, he was, like, doing, uh, fucking, like, sex parties and shit under Nintendo's dollar and shit. Spangenberg's departure was attributed to frequent absenteeism and using Retro servers to host a website that featured pictures of scantily clad women. On Nintendo's dollar. Spangenberg would then create Top Heavy Studios, which who developed the Guy game, released in 2004. And it immediately got hit with a lawsuit because of the underage girl! You hurt- you- yeah, you said it right, Samus. Oof. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, you just blew my mind. Thanks for- for uh, Now, fortunately, that guy has nothing to do with uh, the Metroid Prime that we know today. Oh, I know. God. But it's disgusting that such a thing was even happening. I didn't know there were, like, multiple douchebags associated with Metroid Prime. That's hysterical. Who's the other one? Tommy Tellerico. What'd he do now? <laughs> Did he de falsely claim that he made the music or something? In his own words, I worked hand in hand with Shigeru Miyamoto to create the sound effects for Metroid Prime. I mean, and I don't think that anyone uh, can back him up on that. Guess who's not in the credits of Metroid Prime? Shigeru Miyamoto. <laughs> His contract didn't renew. He left so early he didn't even make it to the credits of Metroid Prime. And because of that, on his game review show on G4, he gave it the lowest score that Metroid Prime has ever gotten. A 6.5 out of 10. What a cockhead. That was out of spite, you idiot. I wonder how Victor Lucas is, uh, seeing all this, uh, the Tommy drama. <laughs> it's like, oh, wow. Huh. Because, like, people, like, kind of like Victor Lucas, don't they? I don't even remember who Victor Lucas is. Maybe that's for the better. Oh, uh, are we talking about another dirtbag? No, 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 no. I meant, like, uh... Th they had a, a review show on G4 called the uh, Electric Playground oh, or something that like that. Victor. Oh, that Victor! Oh, yeah, Day. yeah, yeah! It was it was him and Tommy. Tommy was like, you know, the crazy guy and Victor was like the more, uh, you know, sane, level-headed guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he kind of just did his own tech thing and kind of stayed, you know, in the shadows or whatever. You know, you know, That's whatever. probably for the best. And Tommy, well, Tommy kept making promises. So we're using our ship grapple beam to get this... Well, whatever it is. I think it's radioactive, my dude. But it's apparently something we need for the bomb, so I'm not gonna complain. Go for it. Like, do, do we... Do we actually know that we need this? Like, oh, jeez. The computer man said that we needed it, so I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna argue with the computer man, are you? I mean, the last time I talked to a computer man, he... He said that I should give myself up to the bird man. Well, that, that, because that guy was the Birdman. Oh shit, you're right. I shouldn't blindly follow the orders of a technological advanced person. No, the last time we talked to, uh, to Computer Man in Metroid Dread, he said, wait, don't do it, you'll, you'll kill us. Us? Is that more lore? Well, no, I meant you'll kill us, like me and you, because the ship won't work. Oh no, I was talking about that thing floating in midair, was that lore? No? What? Oh, okay. Oh. Sorry, I oh, saw, I saw yeah. a bot in midair and thought it's, that was more lore we needed, but now we just need to fix the circuit. I'm surprised this didn't make it into a WarioWare at some point. 
Connect the cables! Maybe in the next one. There's always time for the next one. And maybe by then we'll have uh, Metroid Prime 2 and 3 remastered in one box. I can only hope. Okay, how do I do... Do I just... Believe. Where's the... You gotta oh, believe. Oh, 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 there we go. Okay, up here. Oh. There we go. See, this is the power of belief, man. You made it over there. I'm not a fan of how samey everything is in this part of the of the town, though. I'm noticing that, too. I mean, this is kind of different. Because things are moving. Like, it's supposed to be disoriented because, you know, it's, it's a... It's, it, it, it's a calculating and uh, mathematically induced kind of people. I, I, I get that. Everything's going to be similar and symmetrical. But for me, the human player, who just wants to get from point A to point B, it's a little tough. Alright, so... Start introducing uh, screw attack jumping puzzles now. Oh, I love it. When do you get the timing right? I'll tell you for this one. When the gate is facing you, that's when you jump. Oh, it is turning the perfect circle. Nice. All right, wow, so what a what a wuss ship. So when it's facing you like that, that's when you jump. Go, 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 go. Clutch. You barely made that. So that's your window of up your uh, window of error, I suppose. Barely made that. Jeez. Nothing to it though. We got this. We absolutely got. Ah! That was the first pirate you vaporized coming back from the dead. What in the world? What are, what's with these guys? Complete energy. Completely drained. Only a brittle husk. What the hell happened here? Oh, look at that! I wonder what could be up here. Oh, oh my god, me, did I call it or What's did this? I call it? What's this fairy called? Xeno Research? Oh, it can't be. There's no way. It there is be. a way. Good job, Federation. You never fail to disappoint. Hell well, yeah. Let's, let's not jump to any conclusions. Oh, I'm jumping to conclusions. The Federation has done the show before. Well, let's see what, what will become of this next time on Metroid Prime 3. Ha ha ha.